you know, it's been a long, a long time working through this, and obviously I've been touching lots of all those guys all, all day thanking them, but I do really want to thank you. And anything, you know, we've had a couple people come up with some different ideas, which is awesome, and we're def I'm definitely running with a couple of those, but um, I don't know, what do you guys think? It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. I, 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 yeah, I, I, next I said to a couple guys, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, it was next level. I mean, yeah. like, I mean, we've gotten a lot of use out of this shoot house and set up home scenarios and stuff like that, but to be able to have actual actual targets and you know all the different scenarios and feedback and stuff like that, because it really gives you some good instant feedback. Yeah, I thought it was really good too, because um, every time we go to the range, it's always like, all right, so that target, there it is, there it is, and now you guys are giving us information as dispatch kind of would when we're showing up. So now that's all we have to go off of. And a lot of times we know dispatch gives us very vague information. So when it's red and then paper, that's all we have to operate on. And now you just gotta make sure you're making good hits in there and know your target and then even what's beyond, because sometimes those balloons, you know, you shoot through one, then you shoot a civilian. So it's just, it's just good knowing that and just making your brain work a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of tactical training with this team and today was probably one of the best trainings that we've ever had. I mean, yeah, I mean with I uh, <coughs> just the ability to change the scenario very quickly and uh, move from one thing to another, and no scenarios were the same was huge. So thank you guys. Oh, yeah. so that, that last scenario reminded me of the shooting in Lakewood, where they saw a bad guy over the fence, and they gave commands, hey, drop, drop the weapon, drop the weapon. Guy doesn't drop the weapon, officer doesn't the trigger, ends up shooting his partner. So, should he use white light, right? And now he's, you know, has to deal with that. So that's good, good stuff. And having the 3D environment over just, when we set it up, it's you know, a sterile room with turning targets and having the environment to have to move around obstacles and kick shit around, well, kick shit around or have stuff fall over when you Please the door. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'm right. talking one more with those turning targets. You're going to see the targets right away because they're base. You guys have a setup where they're popping around corners, popping up behind couches. That's way different than those turning targets. That's, that's a really key yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what made it like real. Yeah, because it's like, oh, well, there's a target base. Those are going to flip at any point. Yeah. Here it comes. But And then you threw the screwball in there where the victim pops. Future core purposes. <laughs> My one thing that I would like or for you guys would be get some more of those small ones and put them in the dead spaces to make sure people is, are actually checking that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. yep. that's, yeah, that's one of the things that I have. Yeah, I was gonna, like, the, I appreciated the small steel targets too, and even the balloons, like you were saying, like, because it makes us aim, right? Like, I think that my favorite one of the day is the one that's just wobbling back and forth. Because, I mean, yeah, we're not going to get somebody who's swiveling back and forth like this, but we're going to get people that peek their heads out yeah. all the time. I've seen a few crackheads. Well, yeah, but yeah. right. <laughs> I, I just think you know, like, the, the possibilities of all that stuff is crazy, man, because it is. It truthfully does make you, I think the thing that this did, too, that impressed a lot of us, but also was like, oh, shit, we better focus up, is you got to aim small, you got to miss small, and you better hope, like, you gotta know where you're shooting and where where it's going. So like, it was, in my opinion, that's the most use and the best training we've done since we've had that shoot house. So it's good even having like a track system on a target, like hiding it behind like an object and moving it across the room. So then I got a process. Are they a threat? What are they? Where they if they are a threat, <laughs> like if they pass from one and go into another one. Is that a victim running by or is that a subject that I have to take a shot on and then actually hitting that moving target? It's not uncommon <coughs> on top of that point to hit a, a dope house and you get the scatter. They scatter around. Or they fucking, everybody bolts for like the nearest window or whatever. But the system definitely takes it from a one dimensional plane and puts it into a third dimensional, which a lot of agencies fall short on doing it because you're just on this single plane and that's the only training you have. 
put out a message there that just changes the volume more and your kids are thinking a lot. Mm -hmm. I've watched um, a lot of a lot of videos of uh, FBI HRT clearing rooms. Um, you know, tier one, tier two guys in the military clearing rooms, stuff like that, and none of them are using that kind of system. So you guys are on to something. Uh, for the to piggyback off of some of the other stuff that's already been said, of um, they're still fighting somewhat of a two-dimensional. They might have a little more movement than, say, we've had in the past, um, but they're just sticking in hard corners, stuff like that. Um, like, core of the same with the dead space stuff. Um, you're making us work every aspect of the room. That's the biggest takeaway that I got from your <clears throat> system is, is we really had to uh, not just talk about, hey, we got to hit the hard corner. So like, oh, there's the target base. I'm going to my hard corner, waiting for it to flip. There it is. Bang, 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 bang. I feel good about myself and I walk out. It's like, oh, fuck, is there a balloon in this corner? You know? And yeah, we started to see it after the first yeah. run. Like, we really got to make them dig that goddamn corner. Like, that's what made us know. better. Yeah. To your point that you made to me up there, that's what made us better today. Yeah. Which I greatly appreciate. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's, we, we're big on train to failure, not train to feel good. So. That was awesome. You guys are great. Everything you guys did today, that was awesome. We appreciate coming out, helping you guys out. That was fun for, like just as much fun for us yeah. to run around and get that stuff going for you guys. To see you guys, to see you guys fail, to see you guys succeed and things of that nature is just, it, it, it's volumes for us, right? Volumes, thank you. Appreciate it. I would appreciate it too. I'm big on uh, team, teamwork and building a team. Uh, you guys have built a really good team here. Yeah, you guys worked you. really well together. It was, you guys were just like clockwork in there watching you work. I got, I was in there with you guys more than anybody, and that I really got to see that side of it. And uh, you built a good team here. We're all kindergartners. <laughs> <laughs> I also appreciate. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out. We have a coin for. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Did you guys see anything in our tactics that we can improve on? I mean, you guys have experience and knowledge. I think, you know, the, the one thing, and we, we touched it a couple times already, right? Like, you saw, you came in the room, you'd see a target, and you would almost forget about your whole, you know, you had to come all the way in, right? There was a lot of times where it's like, okay, we came in, you're fighting at the door, that's awesome, and then you come in the room, and you just sort of ignored some of those spots, right? And it wasn't until we put something there that you really focused on that spot, right? I think you guys still have to watch those corners, still have to hit those hooks. Your rear security, when we started doing rear security stuff, we got to the point where we're like making that target dance for you. Like, come on, man, shoot the goddamn thing. Like, do it, you can do it, right? I guess I guess that could be better on our end to describe that to you, but if you see a threat, right? Like if you're holding, <coughs> holding on it forever and ever and ever, What's it going to take for you to shoot it, right? Uh, it it's kind of like what we were talking about with balloons, though. Like, sure. I also appreciate a lot of the stuff because it's like we were saying, a lot of the reason the guys were getting mad at the balloons is because... It's a fuck balloon. It's a fuck well, like, it's just, <laughs> but it's one of those things where we were told, you shoot red, that's not what we're used to seeing. Like, we think red, we think this target's going to be spray painted red. Right. But, <laughs> but how often do we go into a scenario where it's not always going to look like we think it's going to look. Right. And, and it's just like, you got to be thinking about, all right, what was I told to do when I came in here? Yeah. At a certain point, like, yep. like Ortiz touched on, man, we train to failure because I guarantee you the next time we do something like this, there's not going to be a guy who sees a target on rear guard that doesn't take a shot at it. Like, so oh, no, I need to be here because of yep. what we did today. So 100%. I appreciate that. Like, and then I think you guys are, you guys are working with it. Uh, there's some groups that had great footwork and great communication amongst each other to get in and out. There were some groups, I was like, Jesus, <laughs> right? Just work on your footwork. I think you guys need to work more, more and more and more together on that, right? Your footwork, who's going first, right? If I pie right or pie left, I'm the first guy in, I made the right decision. You gotta follow me, you go the other direction, right? I saw a lot of hangups on those entries at the back the back room right i actually saw one team where both people dug in the exact same spot it was like okay so the other side's just you know so that's just teamwork 
right? And that's a lot of practice, a lot, a lot of practice. Some of the other teams that I've worked with, you talk to those guys, they'll sit around their, you know, house drinking beers and all they're talking about is freaking CQB, right? Footwork, 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 dig, 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 right? That kind of stuff. Okay, to piggyback on the point you just made, one thing that <coughs> we need to do uh, better as leadership is I would like to see what tends to happen is you see when we build out teams, is we see senior guys clump with senior guys, and we see junior guys clump with junior guys. Um, we need to do a better job of um, newest guy on the team um, needs to be rolling with uh, Corey and Sanderlin, right? Um, spreading that out for that reason. Um, I noticed that today after you mentioned that to me, because I'm like, we got juniors and seniors Clump, uh, clumping together, we need to be better about that. At the same time, those seniors need to take it on themselves to, <coughs> to grab yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've kind of caught that us ourselves doing that a little bit. Hey, we need to we need to get Chris in first so he can watch more reps, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Which is not knocking anything. Some of those that you were seeing were guys that really haven't had any for much time. So sure. you see that? They you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's why they should be rolling with seniors and not. Not other guys, one year guys or two year guys. We got twenty year guys on our team here that need to uh, we need to attach those guys to. So. Where's my medics? You guys are fucking killers. <laughs> yeah, you guys are fucking devastators, man. You guys are rocking it. Save lives, take lives, all right? Yeah. Fuck the balloons, Donnie. Fuck the balloons, Donnie. Yeah, that's a. I have a list of things I hate and balloons. <laughs> when I walked in, I saw like it's just fucking balloons. I focus on the target behind the couch, and I hear it popping. The fuck is Well, I thought you guys were messing with him, like pop one of those like practice flashbangs. Because I look over, I'm like, you good? He goes, a fucking balloon just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah, thank you guys. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you, so you much, guys. guys. I can't thank you enough. Man. Yeah. Seriously. You know, you Awesome. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Ye